No, Elizabeth Warren does not have a racist artefact in her kitchen. Sorry, There's what? a nasty rumour the right wing is pushing around on Twitter that Elizabeth has a racist decoration in her home. That couldn't be further from the truth. People were saying you have a racist artefact in your kitchen. No, Elizabeth Warren does not have a racist artefact in her kitchen. Right, I get that. There's a nasty rumour the right wing is pushing around on Twitter. That Elizabeth has a racist decoration in her home. Okay. That couldn't be further from the truth. What does that mean? The object is actually a Grecian urn. Okay, what do you mean when you say it couldn't be further from the truth? Like, it's not just not racist. The racism... It couldn't be further from the truth. It couldn't be further from the truth. It... Is your urn in some way... Actively anti-racist. What do you mean? Like, does it have Black Lives Matter inscribed in ancient Greek? Is it signed by Rosa Parks? No. Is your artifact combating racism? Does it punch Nazis? Is your artifact anti-fact? It's just a normal artifact. Does it have a particularly unracist history? Like, did Martin Luther King give it to you? Did you beat a Klansman over the head with it? No, it's just not racist. It's just an ordinary... Yes non-racist Grecian urn. Which is fine. Okay, but that's not... You're saying, um, the racist thing. It's not just not true. It couldn't be further from the truth. Yes. You either have a racist artefact in your kitchen or you don't, is my... Well, there are degrees of racism, you know? Right. I mean, the nuance. Yes. But a non-racist artefact is not in itself so far removed from racism that I would say it couldn't be further from racist. If someone says it's racist, which apparently they have... Right-wing Twitter accounts, okay. Are, they're pretending it's racist and you feel the need to clarify that it's not racist. Fine, whatever, that might deter right-wing conspiracy theorists, you never know. But to insist then that it couldn't be further from the truth, that implies that the artefact is exceptionally far away from racism. Like, more so than your average non-racist artefact. But when you say it couldn't be further from the truth, you just mean it's not racist. It's not even slightly racist. It's not notable for an artefact to have no racist qualities. Is it renowned for its lack of racism? It's not racist. Like, couldn't be further from racism, that's... I don't know, a bust of Malcolm X or something. But on the other hand, uh, this Reese's Nut Bar, it's not racist, but it could be further from racism. You know what I mean? This has the normal amount of non-racism I would expect from a Reese's Nut Bar or a Grecian urn. If someone did accuse this Reese's Nut Bar of racism, I wouldn't say... Not only is it not racist, it couldn't be further from racist. It probably could. I'm just trying to be clear. I want to leave no room for doubt that no, Elizabeth Warren does not have a racist artefact in her kitchen. But who are you trying to convince? Do you think that people who aren't already lying that you have a racist artefact in your kitchen will nonetheless project a default level of mild racism onto the artefact and will remain on the fence until you emphasise its lack of racism. When you invite a friend round, you go, Would you like to see my artefact? It's not racist. And they go, ah, That's probably a bit racist. That's artefacts for you. And then you have to go, No, actually, it's not even a bit racist. Who are these people who'd read, No, Elizabeth Warren does not have a racist artefact in her kitchen. And think, Hmm, okay. Maybe she doesn't have an extremely racist artefact in her kitchen, but she probably has a slightly racist artefact in her kitchen. Or, you know, she has a racist artefact, but it's in the linen cupboard or something. Who thinks like that? Who would interests? Yeah, probably. No, Elizabeth Warren does not take Risperdal. Okay.